Austin is a community where, where ideas become real. This is a creative, innovative place. Uh, we've been a place that, where people can go and try things. This is a place where people come from, you know, the fields of Iowa to start up something. In other places, you know, the average person in other places, when they see something different, they usually recoil from it. In Austin, there's more people, who, when they see something different, they go, hey, what's that? That's the spirit of Austin. That's why we have such a dynamic, creative community. Because people accommodate deviance. They accommodate difference. They don't repel from it. There is an openness in Austin that you don't find in other places. Well, the three big things nowadays that people talk about are affordability, inequality, and uh, mobility. And the, the, the bad news is that they're not gonna go away. In this city, as the middle class becomes smaller, the issues of affordability are, are greater. Uh, we live in a city where housing costs are going up three times faster than, than incomes. You know, Austin is a city whose population's doubled every 20 years. And that was fine the first few times we did it. It's not so good now. You know, the primary reason that we have an affordability issue is we have more people coming to Austin than we have housing stock to, to supply for them. That's a fundamental issue. They're pricing musicians, writers, artists. They're you know, they say they want to keep us. They don't. There is no such thing as affordable housing anymore. You know, I don't think that we were prepared for the growth, but I don't think that it's really working for the community. And I, that really makes a difference in quality of life. And I think it's hard to live here, and I think it's hard to afford to live here. And people come, and unless they get a real high-paying job, they can't afford to live in apartments. Oh, I think Austin's lost its character. What we're finding out is that uh, as a result, we're a city that is uh, economically segregated. We're a city where our population of African Americans are actually leaving the city. We see that uh, our numbers are showing us clearly that people who are working class are leaving the city. And the truth is, those people are artists. When you don't have the diversity of just uh, incomes, you're losing a lot of the flavor and that, you know, the, what's really valuable about a city. And so, I think what well, our responsibility as a city is to one, look at that as a problem and figure out how do we slow the tide or reverse it if all possible. This is a city that is exporting poverty. Uh, this has become and is becoming uh, an ever greater challenge for the city. Because what people love about East Austin and other parts of the city is that culture, is that sense of home and, and neighborhoodness. And I think that's the first thing people are afraid of is that they go into a community and they don't have that sense of closeness anymore. But they don't know their neighbors. You have people who have come in who have no sense of the history and legacy. Yes, artists are being uh, priced out of some parts of town, but that's an eternal cycle that, that goes back to the beginning of time. <laughs> they move on to other, you know, inexpensive areas. Follow the artists. You'll find where the cheap rent is. You know, I think Austin in the 70s and 80s even was still a cheap place to live. Um, we were weird um, and we were cheap. And I think we're still weird. We're trying to hold on to that. Uh, but the, it's not too cheap anymore. You know, that impacts the, the creative community that we've got. I don't think you can live in Austin, Texas today and not know somebody that needs affordable housing. Where we're uh, somewhat unique is that 
what we think is unaffordable, other communities see as affordable. And so people who are leaving from California can sell their home in California, buy a house in Austin that's bigger than what they left, and have money in the bank and pay cash for the house. That's a challenge for the housing prices to stay low. So people moving here, it depends on, on, on your perspective. If you're moving here from the coasts, you think this is a wildly affordable city. If you're moving here from another part of Texas or from the Midwest or the South, you're thinking, wow, there's a price tag on living here. So it's a challenge. It's really a challenge to live in Austin. And I think having a mortgage from a long time ago is very helpful. So the mortgage hasn't been the issue, it's been the taxes. I've had to rent out my part of my home space. It's everything I can do to stay in the neighborhood. It, it's expensive. You know, when does it come time for people to realize that if we're all going to be a community here, that somehow we need to work together and not to forget about the little people, the poor people, the people that are being forced out of their homes and their communities because of taxes. This is part of our infrastructure. Our, our creative community is part of our infrastructure here. Uh, and we have to tend to it the same way we do our, our roads and our bridges uh, that uh, we also couldn't do without. And I think that's what the role of government is, is to, to protect people and give them some options that if you just wait for market forces to do it, it wouldn't happen. And the truth is, we know that wouldn't happen because it hasn't happened. <laughs> and so that's where I think government and nonprofits and business can really p take a, a role in partnering to really create that kind of change that we're looking for. In July, I will have lived here 11 years in this house. I love living here. I feel very fortunate to live here. I, at this point, um, don't know what the future holds for me, how much longer I'll be able to stay here. But I pray on a daily basis, please God, have mercy, allow me to at least stay in a place where I can still be, I can still create, and I can still feel like I'm thriving. As somebody said one time, there's no silver bullet for affordable housing. There's just, it's a huge shotgun approach to everything. It's, it's a both and uh, solution, not an either or solution. What we need to do as a community is to realize that housing is like infrastructure, like roads and streets and bridges. Having good, safe, decent, affordable housing for people to live in of all walks of life provides a stability that allows them to have uh, an anchor in their life that, that, that will create the opportunities for success like nothing else, like nothing. You can be healthier, you can be smarter, you can, you can stay in school, everything relies on housing. There are two ways you make things more affordable. You, you make things cost less or you give people more money to spend. Uh, on the cost less side of that, uh, we have organizations like Foundation Communities that provide support services and opportunities to, to succeed. Well, I, uh, I am hopeful. Uh, you know, I, I, I make no predictions about anything. Um, I do know that the more people get involved in the changes that are going on or the resistance of those changes, uh, the better. Call it when you see it. Uh, speak up. Participate. Express yourself. Go out and embrace the city. Meet people. Find out who your neighbors are and go volunteer. We need volunteers.